at home. The crowds rise and Jake Smith, the rising star of British marathon running, has got the job done. There he is, just outside, 62 minutes, and Jake Smith, now he can relax. He wins the big half. All right, so we're back for another YouTube video. Uh, this time, I'm going to explain how I think the race went at the 910Ks. It was part of the British Champs. And yeah, I'm just going to go through some questions, going back on how I did, how I felt going into that race. Um, as it was quite a late race, it started at 9.25pm, how I changed my day around to suit the needs of the race. I finished 7th overall in the race and I was the 4th at home. So I finished 4th at quite a lot of races, so just missed the podium in terms of the British field. Um, seventh overall, which is I was very very pleased with, considering like Cripper won in twenty seven fifteen sixteen. I ran twenty eight oh one, so a big PB. Um, went through the first five k in a swift thirteen forty four, and yeah, I would. I didn't like necessarily die, but it was just it was because it was like a champs race. I had to just get involved, and because Emil and Sam Atkin were just running on the lights. Um, uh, at about four, four and a half k, I made like a bit of a surge to catch him up, so I wouldn't have to do all the work. And yeah, I, I as soon as I finished race, I was absolutely buzz like buzzing with it. Um, the only negative of it was my last lap, which we'll go into later on in this video. But yeah, to run a twenty eight oh one under the European time and only a second off the commies time is something I'm, I was really happy happy after only eight weeks of training and considering. After I came back from Uganda, I, could, I couldn't run, was ill and everything, so it's a big boost of confidence. The event itself was unreal. I got there about two, two and a half hours before. Um, there were about 10 to 12 10k races, and there were two mile races as well, two, like one mile races for them in the men's, and it was incredible. Like, the support, I've never been to a race that loud before. Um, they call it like the glass and brew of running, so you're just running around the track and you just can't you can't hear anything else apart from people shouting your name. Um, I couldn't even think of focus on my breathing or anything like that. Um, there was lots of different events going on during the race, so there was like all these different people just screaming fire it was going absolutely mental. So in terms of my actual aims, of course, like I wanted to break twenty eight. Like twenty eight is a big barrier and. Um, I know I'm strong enough, I know I'm in shape to run that sub-28. Uh, unfortunately, there weren't any lights going at 28 minute pace. It was only 27-28 and lights going for 28-15. And because it was part of the British Champs race, I I spoke to my coach and we literally agreed. Like It was first race, so I was just going to get involved. I didn't want to really think about times during the race. Like I just wanted to get stuck in and see how high I could place up and I beat some really really good people and to finish fourth behind Sam Atkin, Emil Caress and Ben Connor I, I'll put my hands up, I was absolutely buzzing with it so as I've mentioned previously the race started at 9.25pm which is extremely late considering probably the latest I normally start training like sessions wise is about 6.30 um, in order to almost delay the day I just shifted like what time I would have food back I made sure I had like a good nap but not too late too early I made sure when I woke up after I was like stayed hydrated um, and I just wanted to get everything right on the day because I mean last year I deemed after Euro 10k cup and it was at a very similar time and so I just needed to make sure I got everything right and I felt my preparation into this year's event was much better than last year's and that could have been just because I ate a bit later, I ate better food, um, I hydrated a lot more, I was less stressed, and I was just enjoying it. I've never been so excited to race in my life. Like, I was on that start line, and I was just, just, everyone could tell I was just buzzing to be there and just getting, being part of it. All I wanted to do was just start. So, the race we set off, as I mentioned before, there were two lights. So, there's a first lights going off at 27 28 pace, which is a world champs qualifier. And the others was at 28.15. So um, the race started off and it was in each race there were like 35, 40 people. So as you can imagine, very bunched. And I'm not the very 
best at starting, especially in track races. So I was pushed back near to the back for the first lap or two. And I saw like Jack Rowe making a bit of a break towards the front with Emil and uh, Zach Mohammed. They were all ahead of me. So I thought in order to make sure I run in quick time, I need to get towards the front. I need to get out of trouble and just get into lane one. So for the first 2k, I was just manoeuvring myself, trying to find the best spot. And after about 2 to 5k, I was literally just sat in behind Jack, Jack Rowe, which was great because he's quite a lot bigger than me so he was just taking the wind the whole way and and then he started at about four and a half k I saw there was a bit of a gap um, building between the first three and the rest of the group so that's when I started to make my break um, caught back up to the group and then now I've watched a video back as soon as I catch back up I think Kripper looked behind and put in like a 63 64 second lap which did hurt me quite a bit because I made quite a big effort to get there and so I was like falling off that pack again Fortunately, Ben Connor um, and Ollie, he's from New Zealand, basically us three just worked together until the final lap where they both absolutely destroyed me. But apart from that, we were just like sharing the lead. Um, we were just focused on the times. We never saw the 28-15 lights. I'm still really, really happy with the race. Like I said, after eight weeks of training where I started from at the start, it was incredible to see my progress. Um, in terms of changing, it, it would probably be my mentality into that last lap and maybe not going off with the first three boys up to the 5k point. I, I, because it was a British Champs race, it, it's like almost the time goes out the window, you want to see how high you can place up and that was my main goal after about 3-4k. I was like, I'm feeling good, I want to see how far I can finish in this British field. and. So in order for me to change next time, I'm just going to set off a bit slower, make sure I feel a bit more comfortable so I'm not hurting at 6, 7k. But yeah, all in all, I was really, really happy. It was that last lap, I just, I need to speak to my coach a bit more, speak to other people in sessions, just making sure I can hurt myself a bit more because it's not that I'm too tired. It's just, I feel like there's like a mental block in my like head in that last lap and I just don't know how to... I don't even need to pick it up, like, all I needed to do was run a 66-67 and I would have broken 28 minutes. So what would I do definitely in the next 10k race? Um, like I just mentioned, first bit would be to set off a bit slower. So maybe go through in 13.55 towards 14 minutes through the first 5k. Um, so I'd be like 66 high, 67 laps and it would make me feel more comfortable. Like in training I've been absolutely smashing those times and that that pace actually feels comfortable so if I can get through halfway feeling good at that pace with the group I know I'll be able to break 28 minutes and going into the last lap I just need to make sure I just need to tell myself like okay there's 60 63 seconds left of running that's all we need to think about just put your head down and kick and then as soon as it's over you can fall on the floor the next 10k race will be next weekend on the 11th or 12th of June in Leiden, Netherlands. So I have done this race previously and actually finished second um, a few years ago when I was trying to run the under 23 Euro 10k time. Um, unfortunately the field wasn't very good back then but I've heard it's very very good this year so I think on paper I might be fourth quickest and I know I've heard some people going off at sub 27 30 pace but from about fourth to 15th I think they've run like 28 to 28 20 so I know a lot of people be will try to be breaking that 28 minute barrier and um, there's this German guy I know there who's also going to compete and he's looking at 27.45, 27.50 but he's a very intelligent racer so I'm looking forward just to like sitting on the back with him, working with him and seeing how close, how much time we can take out of 28 minutes. That is the main goal. So I've spoken to my coach quite a lot recently about how the race went like I said, we were both really happy with how I attacked it because it was a British champs race. I had to just go for it and just see what I was capable of. Um, in sessions you may have seen on my Strava or on Instagram or even through YouTube, uh, I'm trying to work on that leg turnover even more. So I'm trying to make like 64, 65 feel comfortable. So there's a lot of 400 to 800 reps at that pace. So it's more closer to 5k pace because I'm a big believer in if you train under the pace you want to be racing at, 
um, on race day, it will just feel really, really comfortable. Other races, so we, like for example, I'm doing an NAL tomorrow, 3K tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to try different distances and see how the body reacts to it, implement these races into my training and just give me a bit more motivation going into the 10K. Um, the ultimate goal is to be at Euros in August for the 10K, so ideally I need to run a little bit quicker, but until then, it's just trying to work on that late turnover. And yeah, I'm just really excited to see how this summer goes and it's a great start to it. So thank you very much for watching this video about my review of the Highgate Night of 10Ks. Um, all in all, great race and I would recommend everyone going, even if you're just a spectator, you have to go there. And yeah, just keep watching these YouTube videos to see how I progress over the summer. I still have a couple of more months left of races, so I'm absolutely buzzing. Training is getting hard, it's getting hot and yeah, the group's getting big. So. Enjoy and see you soon.